The switches can go no smaller. The heat can burn no lower. And still, our hunger for intelligence keeps growing, demanding more than electrons can give. The question rises softly, but urgently. What comes after silicon? Perhaps the answer is not in electricity at all, but in light itself. A spark, not of wires, but of waves. A path where data no longer stumbles, but flows like a river without end. Within a chip no larger than a fingernail, scientists are teaching light to think, to remember. And that quiet shift may change everything we know. The Wall of Electronics For half a century, progress in computing has meant one thing, making transistors smaller. Each year, billions more were crammed onto tiny chips, pushing machines to run faster, cheaper, and more powerful. But now, the transistor has reached a boundary it cannot escape. It is only a few atoms wide, and physics itself is beginning to resist. Electrons, once obedient, now leak through barriers. Heat builds in suffocating layers. The dream of endless scaling is slowing down. At the same time, our ambitions have never been larger. Artificial intelligence, with its billions of calculations, demands power that silicon alone can no longer promise. Data centers glow like furnaces, consuming energy equal to whole nations. We are reaching the ceiling of what electrons can carry, yet the hunger for more knowledge keeps pressing forward. It feels like a paradox. We stand on the edge of incredible possibility, yet trapped inside the limits of our own invention. Something new must take its place, something that moves faster, smoother, and lighter than electrons ever could. The Nature of Light Light behaves in a way that feels almost otherworldly compared to electricity. Electrons push through wires like cars on a crowded road, stopping, starting, colliding, and slowing under resistance. Light does not move like that. It glides, uninterrupted, a wave that carries information without friction. It does not need to stop at intersections. It does not lose strength with every step. Imagine data not waiting its turn, but flowing all at once. A pulse of light can be bent, split, or merged, and continue forward without hesitation. While electronics pause to switch from zero to one, light simply moves, carrying meaning in its colors, its patterns, its endless stream. This is why scientists have looked to light for answers. It offers speed we have never touched and efficiency that feels almost effortless. Computing while data is still in motion is the dream of photonics. But a dream has shadows too, and light carries its own hidden flaw. It cannot, on its own, remember. The memory problem. Every computer, no matter how powerful, rests on three foundations. First is the ability to calculate, to add and multiply numbers at speed. Second is the ability to connect, to move data across circuits and pathways. And third, often overlooked, is memory, the quiet act of storing results so they can be used again. Without memory, computation becomes a voice that fades as soon as it is spoken. Light has mastered the first two pillars, Photonic chips can perform operations with speed beyond electronics. They can send information across fibers and circuits almost without loss. But when it comes to memory, light falters. There is no simple way for it to hold on to information once it passes by. The result is a compromise. Data must be converted back into electronics whenever it needs to be saved. Each conversion adds delay. Each delay consumes power. In many cases, this erases the very advantage light was supposed to bring. For years, researchers feared this weakness meant photonic computing could never be whole. The breakthrough. For years, memory was the missing piece that held photonic computing back. Light could calculate and connect, 
but it slipped away too quickly to be useful. Then researchers found a way to anchor it. Their answer was a microscopic ring called a resonator, designed to trap light much like a glass ring at one note when struck. By placing a thin phase change material on top of this ring, they created something new. The material could shift states and hold values with precision, while the ring guided the light through it. Together, they formed memory and computing in one place. This changed the equation. Now the data does not need to leave the photonic world to be stored. It can remain inside, held, and processed at the same time. For the first time, light gained memory, and with it, the chance to become a true engine of computation. Why memory matters? In today's computers, the processor and memory live apart. Every time a calculation is finished, the result must travel across wires to storage. Then, when it is needed again, it must travel back. This endless back and forth is costly. Studies show that nearly four-fifths of all energy in a chip is not spent on thinking, but simply on moving data from one place to another. It is like owning a sports car capable of immense speed, yet forcing it to crawl through city traffic. The machine has power, but the road wastes it. With light, the story changes. By keeping memory and computing in the same location, the work happens instantly. The light does not need to stop, does not need to travel far. The operation is performed at the very point where the data is stored. This quiet shift is powerful. It means less energy wasted. It means more speed unlocked. And most of all, it removes one of the greatest bottlenecks that has slowed computing for decades. Parallel power of colors. What makes light so extraordinary is not only its speed, but its variety. Unlike electrons, which all look the same, light comes in many shades. Each color carries its own identity, and each can carry data independently. That means one channel of light can become many, all traveling together, yet never interfering. On the new chip, researchers have already shown they can process 32 separate colors at once. Each color acts like its own lane on a highway. Numbers can be written into purple, blue, green, or red beams, and every lane computes simultaneously inside the same device. In electronics, this kind of work would require building many separate transistors, each devoted to one operation. The chip would grow crowded and heavy. But with light, all of it happens within the same structure, compact and fluid. This is where the promise multiplies. Parallel computing at such a scale means vast amounts of information can be handled in a single breath of light. What once required armies of processors may now be achieved by a single glowing ring. Why AI needs it? Artificial intelligence is no longer a distant idea. It is here, woven into search engines, assistants, and vast data centers that respond to billions of requests each day. But this new intelligence is hungry. Each question, each image, each prediction requires countless operations. The energy cost is enormous. Some studies suggest that the daily use of large models already consumes more electricity than small cities. For companies building the future, Google, Microsoft, and Amazon, this is more than science. It is survival. They need faster chips that burn less power Without them, the growth of AI will choke on its own demands. This is where photonic computing fits. A chip that runs at the speed of light while consuming the energy of a night lamp could transform the economics of AI. What now strains servers could become manageable, even graceful. The urgency is clear. Without new hardware, the dreams of artificial intelligence will remain heavy, expensive, and unsustainable. Light offers a path forward, one that feels almost inevitable. Beyond AI, what it unlocks. The reach of light-based chips extends far beyond artificial intelligence. Think of scientific simulations that map the birth of galaxies or trace the folding of a single protein. Today, 
These projects take months, even years, on the fastest supercomputers. A photonic processor could cut that time down, turning endless waiting into rapid discovery. Climate research could gain new clarity. Models of storms, oceans, and rising temperatures could run with precision never before possible. New medicines, designed through complex molecular calculations, might appear sooner and save more lives. Even industries like finance or transportation, driven by streams of numbers, could feel the change. At its heart, computing is not about machines, but about answers. About speeding the moment when the unknown becomes known. By using light, the answers may arrive faster than ever before. But even as the promise widens, a quiet reminder remains. Every new path carries its obstacles. Light, for all its power, still faces shadows ahead. The challenges ahead. Even the brightest ideas are tested by limits. Photonic chips promise speed and efficiency, but real obstacles remain. Their components are larger than transistors, making it difficult to pack them as tightly as silicon. The memory materials, though clever, wear down with repeated use. And our entire digital world, servers, software, infrastructure, was built for electronics. Bringing light into that space means rewriting and rebuilding. Yet these very challenges fuel competition. Startups like Light Matter, Light Elegance, and QDOT, ANT, are racing to overcome them. Universities refine designs, while tech giants wait for solutions that can scale. The reward is staggering. Supercomputers that run on the power of a single bulb. Whoever solves the puzzle first will not only win markets, but shape the next era of intelligence itself. The road is uncertain, but the race has begun. And the prize is nothing less than the future of computing. A small chip, no larger than a fingertip, now carries something unthinkable. Light that remembers. For decades, we trusted electrons to build our digital world, but their limits are clear. Photons offer a new path, faster, cleaner, almost weightless. Yet the journey ahead is uncertain. Challenges remain, and the race is only beginning. Still, the shift feels inevitable. One day, our machines may not just run on light, but think with it. And when that moment comes, we will look back at this first step and realize it was here that the future quietly began to glow.